Have you been drinking the same coffee for so long that you can't even taste it anymore? Are you tired of spending $15 on a bag of coffee that you don't even like? Then this coffee show is for you. Welcome to the Nash Potatoes Coffee Show. The goal of this show is to help you discover new coffees. New coffees that taste great, are delicious and drinkable. New coffees that are reasonably priced, and new coffees that are readily available. As you saw from the intro, we are doing the Bracketology of Coffee. This is a new series that I recently started, and we are going head to head today with Starbucks, Bright Sky Blend, versus Yocono, a Puerto Rican coffee. So the way we're gonna do this, um, I'll give you a little bit of information about the two coffees and then we'll taste them twice and see who comes out ahead. So the Starbucks Bright Sky Blend, um, its origin is Latin America. Uh, goes for $8.65 for a 12 ounce bag this size. It's a light roast and it ranked um, fourth in my bracket. And the way I did the bracket rankings is I tallied up uh, reviews from across the web, including their Amazon reviews, um, the number of critical reviews they had versus the number of positive reviews, and whether or not they had a score at coffeereview.com that weighed in just a little bit. So they were ranked number four, the Yalcono Puerto Rican coffee. Its origin is obviously Puerto Rico. This bag here goes for $9.40. It's a medium roast and it ranked fifth in my bracket. So we've got the number four going up against the number five. So the way I'm gonna prepare the coffees today is in a French press. Um, I use one tablespoon of coffee grounds to five ounces of water and I let it steep for four minutes. Um, round one will be the coffee just black as it comes out of the French press. And then round two, I will add a bit of half and half which tends to change the flavor either for the better or for the worse. And each round, they will get a score out of zero to 100. We'll tally them up and see who the winner is in round two. And then um, later on this week, we'll move on to round three. So don't go anywhere, the fun is just getting started. All right, here we go. So. Uh, just a few notes before we get started. I want everybody to know that I'm not claiming to be a super taster. Um, about 25% of the population is thought to be a super taster. I consider myself just a normal taster or an average taster. Um, what I'm looking for in coffees is just, um, we're doing the head-to-head -head matchup, so which one is better than the other. Um, I'm looking for drinkability, something that gets me out of bed in the morning, something with a pleasing aftertaste. And I'm actually super excited because uh, the coffee I'm drinking right now, I, I don't care for it. Um, it's very mild and uh, drinkable, but it just doesn't have much flavor to it. So I'm excited to try these two coffees. I've never tried either one, actually. So the taste of your coffee has a lot to do with the quality of your water, um, the way that you're preparing it, and um, how fresh the beans are, how do you store the beans, all that kind of stuff. So this is the Puerto Rican coffee right here. And I usually drink my coffee black in the mornings and with half and half in the afternoons, which is why this, this way of scoring is so perfect for me because um, I drink my coffee both ways. And I did notice the Yalcono seems to be a little bit finer grind, um, but um, in my French press, I've done coarse grind and I've done fine grind. I've done the auto drip grind. They all seem to work fine for me, so. All right, that should be good enough. So I will taste it once, uh, taste each one once, and then I'll taste them a second time and score them on the second round. So here we go. This is the Bright Sky Blend from Starbucks. Mmm, that's surprisingly good. I'm not a huge fan of Starbucks, but some of their blonde roasts are pretty good. 
you ever do coffee tastings, um, what I've read online, 90% of, 97% of coffee is actually water. So you don't necessarily need to cleanse your palate in between the tastes. Um, so we'll give that a shot without cleansing the palate on this round and see how it goes. Mm. Both of them are very good. Um, I definitely have my first impressions on each, um, but this time we're going to score. So here we go. The way the professionals do the scoring is 0 to 100, and then anything over an 80 is considered the best of the best, the specialty coffee. Um, this Bright Sky Blend, I um, actually really like it. I think uh, I'm going to give them an 87. And now for the Puerto Rican coffee. That one's good as well. These are both very drinkable. Um, the Starbucks has a little bit better aftertaste than the Yokono does. Um, for the Yokono, you know, I think I'm going to give it an 80, 81. And then uh, I'm going to add about an ounce or an ounce and a half of half and half. And we'll be back to do round two of the scoring. All right, so this is the second half where I've added some cream to each one of these coffees. We're going to taste them again. If you ever do a coffee tasting, I definitely recommend adding, drinking a black and then adding cream later because it really changes up the flavor profile. So um, here is for the Starbucks Bright Sky Blend. Yeah, that's delicious with half and half. I really like that. And now for the Puerto Rican. Yeah, once again, um, the Puerto Rican coffee is very good, just not uh, quite enough flavor for me. Um, and it all comes down to the type of bean that they use, the type of roast that they use. So that's what I love about this bracketology of coffee is it allows us to take two totally different coffees, whether they're a light roast, medium roast, dark roast, <clears throat> from different parts of the world and match them up head to head, find out which one uh, comes out on top. So this time I'm going to score them. This is the Starbucks Bright Sky Blend. So I like that one uh, slightly better with the half and half. I'm going to give them an 89 in the second half. <clears throat> now for the Yalcono. Yeah, once again, uh, very drinkable. Um, I think the half and half maybe has taken away from the flavor just a tiny bit. Um, I could definitely drink it every morning. It just uh, wouldn't be my go-to. So I'm going to give them an 80. So let me tell you the results, and we'll be back to declare a winner. Thanks for watching. All right, we are back with the results of this round two challenge. Um, so we have Starbucks, Bright Sky Blend. They scored an 87 in the first half, 89 in the second half for a total of 176. And we have the Yalcono Puerto Rican Coffee. They scored an 81 in the first half, an 80 in the second half for a total of 161. So, in this bracketology of coffee, the round two winner is Starbucks Bright Sky Blend. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. We'll see you next time.